Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Yes? Really? Actually, it's... Never mind. I don't really care. Farewell. Yeah! Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own... Something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely... I don't know if um, that is so. Uh, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The humans attacked skeletons. And, um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
We'll make camp here. Look out! wine and bacon from the saddle there. Coming up, sir. At long last. <laughs> sir. I am, although we haven't actually... That doesn't matter. Hunting is a... I'm not sure I'll... Don't worry. I don't expect much of you. Just avoid getting in my way and... But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now you're... I really... If I only wanted... As you... It's not easy for me to talk about, sir. My parents were killed right in front of my eyes. Couldn't you do anything about it? I mean to say, didn't Radzig put up a defence? The court was unprepared. There was no time for anything. I wanted to save my parents, but I was too late. All right then. I was only... I'm not a coward, if that's what you're getting at, sir. I never said you were. And I'd never let anyone call me one. Not even a noble. More honour to you. Better get some sleep, Blacksmith. We have to get up at dawn, so best not overdo it. My name is... Very well, then. Henry. Good night. Good night, sir. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you... Oh, really? You would... Heaven forbid. If that's the way you want it, peasant. We'll meet back here at noon. Oh. And if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some... After all... <laughs> ha! And now turn... Look what I've got. You'll love this.
Look what I've got. Ring! Tim!
How did the hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. Look, why do you ask? Not bad, though. Quite good, actually. Um, it's an... Jesus, the ins... But never let it be said I'm a pinch... Your serf humbly... And now come along. Let's... Henry, mount up and let's go... Get him! Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take him down with an arrow? Certainly. Why, why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Quiet. So... Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... <laughs> Fuck! After him! Fetch! <laughs> Mount up, Henry! Chase down that swine!
Let's have a look at you. Henry! You turned up uninvited at some... And you took them off? So it seems. God's holy britches! I never knew you had it in you, Henry. That wound on your head. <sighs> Not to worry. Come along then. It's Lord Capon! Get here, everybody! You, help him! How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. <laughs> I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Uh... Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. Ah. The Neuhoff stud farm's been raided. We don't know much about what happened, just what that... Jesus Christ. May the Lord watch over you. Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready. Good. Then follow. I don't know what Sir Radzik sees in you, and I don't care. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is you. Now, mount up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. To me.
Ja. 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 To heal much. Yeah. Yeah. Where's your master? In... in the paddock. <sighs> Crucifix? What kind of beasts could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. And then my husband, when my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? <laughs> Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. 
Has anyone tried to follow the trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? Pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck. Someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well... If you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far and come back here when you're done. God above.
Another y What's wrong with your That's nasty. Hmm. What in the world happened? The bass And how did you I heard someone talking, so I went to look I shouted at the Without a weapon? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for And you've got no idea something must there's one man in particular. Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really. Can you help? How? You know the area. How can I figure out which. Hmm. They left in a hurry. God be with you. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in huh? Scallets a few times. Ask. I. No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know it... I'm sorry to trouble you. The noise woke us up. Go on. My husband went out. Then I just heard la It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first. I didn't find out until the morning. Who? Jacob, the old stable boy. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wait. I don't know if... Did you get a look at them? No. And where did you hear? Everywhere. It was chaos. I mean at the very start. I don't know. Did you recognize? No. I Good luck then. Could anyone be so cruel? This one got it in the back. And there's more of them. Such senseless brutality. They slaughter Why horses they as well as people. See what they did here? Kill them! Find those horse sons and kill them! How could anyone be so cruel? Such senseless brutality. They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. What? Who's there? Easy. I don't know anything. You didn't happen to hear- No! I didn't see- What really happened? I don't know. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Are you... Leave me alone. Look, I... But I only need you to answer a few questions. Yes. What? What actually... Why did they... Did they take any... Think carefully. We... Then smell. What happened up? We ran out. You said they were... No, just... But... How many? Not many. There were just a few that came after us. In the back? Towards the woods. To the north. Thanks. God be with you.
They went deeper and deeper, for sure. Nobody can match me with iron in their hands, and uh, some damn peasant kills me. <laughs> Dagger covered in horse shit. Uh. Why, well, it's a hoop. Someone in Neuhoff must know more about it. There's the... That's my... Yeah. Any idea where I... Well... What? Look at it. Work... You have my... For the... Only... For how... To... Farewell. To heal, Mutt. Yeah.
to heal, Mutt. I'm at your sir. Have you who? A boy with ginger. No one from Neuheim. God be with you. What do you want? I've got a lot of my Good health to you. Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some... Sorry, there's never been a lad called... A murder's been... There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late. There'll be a lot left... Calm down, you might want to... They didn't happen to say what they want... No, but they... Do you have any idea... You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, but that forest is huge. Then follow the river. That's how you found us. All right. May the Lord watch over you. Get them, Lassos! Beg your top! Ugh! <sighs> 
Yeah. To me? Yeah. date here. I'd like to learn certain I mentioned wouldn't you well Got that? I see. Oh. 
Take care now. Yeah. You want to lay in your festive table with some fine game? What'll it be? Isn't po but I'm no pope. And what are you then? I, I'm uh... a trap. Oh no, you won't. Free. I agree.
get him! Honored that I'm, I'm looking. For oh, you know him? There's a few questions. On well, you'll have to. I really. And do you think he had a. Hard to say. He ran away. Well, when you put it like that, it's clearly urgent business. Downstream, my. If you follow the river to the west, you're bound to run into them. Oh, yes. Some other men have been around asking about. Then there's more. Greetings, my good man. May I ask you a Ask first, then I'll ask you. Really? Good then. We're looking for Ginger. I was just about. Then it's a pity neither of us have. Thank heavens I've found you, though. I imagine you two might be able to tell me something. I see. Well, we can give you a.
I'm at your... Where are you? How did you... Don't try that one on me. I know he's friends with a pair of twins from here. I'm here on the orders of Sir... If Sir Hunnish sent you, then you should deal with those two cutthroats who've been creeping around here asking about the poor boy. Won't you take care of them? I dealt with... Really? And I... If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should... I'll take your word for it. All right. A bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Uj. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled, though. You could... Good. Thanks for your... May the Lord watch over you. Yeah! Jesus, you've led me a merry... What? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off? Because I was afraid they'd come back. Who? Those... those band... To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I... I never killed... I'm looking for your friends. Where are... Charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? Recognised? Who was it? I d don't know his n name. Only that he's from Usha. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Usha. Playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village. But that's all I know. I never talked to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave any... That's quite a lot. You don't... I only recognised one of them. A fellow from Ujits with a limp. He lives in a house on the edge of the village, but he's in the tavern there. What else do you know? Nothing. That's... Why did you kill that... What? Bandit? This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead... That is mine, but I didn't... I've heard every- Wait! What a- uh, I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still- They're out of the way. I ran into them on my- Really? That's- What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about- I could go and ask- Would you? Man, may I disturb you for a moment? You again? 
Ah. I suppose you want to challenge me to... Yes. That was just my intention. All right. I'll slay you, you scum! Yabba! I can't go back home like this. Yeah! I found you. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to- What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said- That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognized him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare- But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. But why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. And now I'm supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him? The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest- And what about for revenge? no need to fear vengeance. The bandits who were looking for Ginger are in hell. But what if they find out? <laughs> the only way they could find out would be a holy vision. Anyway, I reckon they'll have more pressing concerns. Well, all right. Let's... Goodbye. Well, well. I was looking for that... And you didn't... I had to follow the trail before it went cold. And what if some bandit skewered you and left you for dead? We'd never find you because you told no one where you were going. I really don't know, my lord. He disappeared without saying a word to anyone. Never crossed my mind. I... Silence! Keep your ignorant mouth shut when I'm giving you the benefit of a veteran's wisdom. You do what I tell you, answer only when I ask, and not go roaming off whenever you feel like it. I'd like to kick your arse back to the castle and be shut of you. But it's true, you're a fucking peasant who knows nothing about soldiering. And it's my job, God have mercy on you if you ever try anything like that again. If you're lucky, I'll only have you whipped and clapped in the stocks. I hope we've got that out of the way. I've made myself absolutely clear. And now... I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognised one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he wreck? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for... So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Rita. I don't really mind how you deal with them. 
Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs. Maybe like that. In any case, bring me the spurs. Very well. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp. Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways. Barbaric times. That does make sense. God be with you. God be with you. God be with you, Henry. Congratulations on winning the tour. My lord. Excellent. But the whole story, or just the gist? It's up to you what you consider him. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. And his name? The boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kutten. If I don't find him in Egypt, I'll ask around. Someone will know. All right. Better go to Egypt then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they... Then bring him to me in Mehoyed, and I'll decide on his... Certainly, sir. Why choose Mehoyed? It's somewhat at the centre of events, isn't it? And what's more... The... Sir, do you think they're going to try the... I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now. But the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in... But the bandits won't find much silk. There's always a groschen or two. Some food and so on. Anyway, how much... True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot. Staring like a rabbit in transport. I have some... Good. The tr I see. That's all I found out. Well, good luck to you. Yeah.
I'm looking for a fellow who lives here. What would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. The bastard has a... God be with you. citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof and... I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you. To Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Who was Limpy Lubos? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what? Do you happen to... I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Did he have any kith or kin? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last... Has he been up to anything suspicious like Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole... How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. When did you find the body? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. God be with you. I've come. Sir Hanush gives a job like that to a young fellow like you. Do you know what Luke? I don't think he was home at all. Wait. Do you know anyone? I really don't know. It's That's all. Good luck to you.
I see you. I wouldn't have expected that. With a stick. I practiced with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me. The blessings of our good Lord be with you. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanosh is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. Did you know Lubosh? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such. Did you know? My child. All sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do if that's really not a lot of... I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with... What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the... Father, there are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances, and this is one of them. For heaven, I can, because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if. Father, Luke, if I don't find out who it was, I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. Suppose we talk it over in the evening, in the tavern. Over a cup. All right. May the Lord watch over you. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything, but maybe we can work something out. But first I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? I'm from Scalitz. Oh. Um. They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. It must have been terrible. And good help. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. God knows why. Killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, the girl, even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church and rubbed. My poor child. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hannish. 
He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying I'll... The rumours aren't exaggerated. This, the Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the... I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarrelled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch... I see it's every bit as bad as people... Cl well then, here's to those poor souls... I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much... I noticed your... You know what they I say. But this is a bit more... Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me... Well, we've had an agreement. So, about this confessional... Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you if people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed... I Chin up, lad. I might have to... What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But, first thing tomorrow... Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the... Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. The tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life with a nice moral to them, especially if they're about fornication and similar scandal. Can you give me an next? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people, I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my... What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Ch The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole, just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly... You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress while Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place. Look to your consciences, you robbers of... Amen! Well, this Jan Hus character... Oh, the congregation... I don't doubt it. Let's drink to the... Funny. That... What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Who's pre... I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles... Thanks for the sermon, but uh, it's getting quite late. What do you suppose? Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Enough of this! Bailiff! Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? 
So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. Oh. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Look at this beauty. Oh. Oh. We can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> this is wonderful. And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> God, my you old goat. Come here. Oh. Priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? To me? Well, I have to say that was a fine evening.
Godwin, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards. Oh, fuck it out. Oh, oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christy Bonnie, my head. Oh, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. What was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosha's cronies are. So all of... Don't mock me! <sighs> no, neither can I... What do you want me to do? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you, no need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what... Christ almighty. Wonderful. Never show up. 
the swill pole. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, we throw up. I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas at venerabiles amanus suas. <clears throat> Hac facite in meam commemorationem. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Now I'm curious, curious which one of them will puke first. Uh, greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am here to tell how the once great mother of all Christians is losing her dignity and trading in souls like the merchants in the temple. That well wants to preach about the church. Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. <coughs> It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, cute, the accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning all... When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every... They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. You want to baptise a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay, and you will have absolution. And the prelate sin and... For shame! It is the custom of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us all? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He whose companions were poor travellers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could... Con now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, for there should be moderation in all things. And it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to mother. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses, and they play dice, and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, will look to your consciences, you- Down with the prelates! Away with the- we're fortunate to have our good father, Godwin!
God sees what is happening on earth. And blessed are the sh I, all of That is all I heard in prayer. The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a I'm silver glad he came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague. He told it nicely. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. Well, I wasn't the only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony and fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now, slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. That would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko. Pious. Timmy. Pious. <laughs> that lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. <sighs> and anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ledechko, right? <laughs> well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. <laughs> I don't doubt it.
Yeah. Be with you. I have some trophies. Show me. They deserved it. The I'd like to imp certain. I'd like to. All right, but it'll cost now. Can you teach me? Certain. I'd like to hone. All right. Now. I'd like to get back. I'd like to. Pra Good luck. I'd like to get back, sir. I'm interested. Wow. Well. Good luck to you. The Lord be praised. Take care. I heard how my up and I need you to pick up a Who am I supposed from Conrad Hagen and and believe me. 
Here you go. And the ornament? I had the engravers inside. That just won't do. You said... Precisely. It's a beaut... But you... Who am I supp... From Conrad Hagen in... Re and believe me... Wine? Thank you. I just... Goodbye. I hope I can... Can we trade? If you've got... Yeah. Lovely. Good day. About a nice. Li Can you? That's all. I've got some. Uh
What am I to do? Buying and selling stolen goods. Not so that. I've got some goods. Oh. Yeah. God watch over you. I'd like to. Uh huh. And uh. as fine. I goodbye. Yeah! I am honored that good luck to you.
Yeah. Good day to you. Take care now. Farewell.
God be with you. I'd like to... Of course. I'll... I'll... Long... Good, Good luck to you. The first combatant will be... Pavel Cole Roebuck from the garrison of Sir Sebastian von Berg. And his adversary will be... Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Ratzik Kabla. Let us wish the combatants luck. All is prepared for the first duel. We will witness a duel with longswords. And now's the time to choose weapons for the next duel. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. <laughs>
As victor in this round, he shall proceed to the next. Entering the arena now will be Henry of Skullets from the company of Sir Radzik Kobla. And he will face Michal of Janowitz, spearman of the Lords of Sternberg. Welcome, our warriors. And this very first bout will afford plenty of entertainment. We will witness a duel with longswords. second bout. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. Jesus Christ!
combat skills in this round and emerge victorious, he shall proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay. The first combatant will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Ratai Kabla. And he will face Coleman, man-at-arms of Sir Hanush of Lipa. Welcome, our warriors! The combatants have entered the arena and the first duel may commence! We will witness a duel with longswords! your balls. We have a victor in 
the second jewel, he is Henry of Scalifts. Lords and ladies, good men and good wives, you have just witnessed the final jewel in today's Ratai Tournay, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Scalitz, man at arms in the company of Sir Ramsey Kobila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. Put on a hell of a show, Henry. Here's your hat. Thank you, Sir Hannah. Good luck to you. Hey! Greeting! I've come from my... Uh, we'll see. I hear you're... I'd like to first. Well, will you teach me? I'm interested. Wouldn't? Well, God be with you. was able to swim.
That's your sir. I noticed. I know. No. Never. Oh, at the end of each archer. Sounds like good fun. It sounds interesting. Well, if you ever want to gamble. I'm looking for a fellow called. Re you mean Hinnick? He's the tanner's son. Any idea where I could find? I don't know. Try what can you tell me? He's as cantankerous as a hawk. Why do they... He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind... True enough. Well... So you know... Not much, I confess. Most... Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around. Don't tell me... He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Why is he... Hmm. Well... Like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking up. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratai for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in... So a bit more than heist. Just so. We're all... May the Lord watch over you. Several times. Well, I suppose I should be flattered. It wasn't my face you were looking at. Come now, I am paying you, am I not? What do you want here? Pop it. Or I'll... Hey, you there! Are you going to hang around here gaping like a stuffed squirrel? What's that? You can't pay for a bath. Greetings. I heard you've been. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? What? God, no, nothing. Oh, well. I've seen him often enough. What's going on out there? Where can I find I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to? Uh, I don't... Look, Hinek's my friend and I... But I already told you... So I suppose he just goes to the... Mushrooms? No. More like... He so Hinek is a poacher? Well, that's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for... Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some... F he said he has some high... When did you laugh? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening. And that was on you? I never saw him drink much. He always came. So he was acting strangely then? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. 
Can you remember? Oh, oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosch who died. Aye, and then he was talking about... What did he say about... Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his... I see. What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a farm... And if I want... Did you go there for a... No, I've got better things to do. Ob yes, I understand. Did he tell you exactly? He said he buried it at his... All right. Thank Good luck then. I hope I can be other. What's happening? Ah, you know what? No, look. Whenever they're packed. Have you got a bed? I suppose I. For how long? Just the one. No problem. There you go. You'll like it here. Where do I. That's easy. As soon as you go indoors, at the end of the room on the left. There's a door leak. Good luck to you. like a hen. Maybe he'll lay an egg. Good health to you, sir. Good luck to you. Here! A corpse! God Almighty! Christ Almighty! Guard, help! 
There, someone's made camp. <laughs> Hey, you! Halt! We're all right I saw you beating folk. You should have thought twice about... Damn it. You... Who's there? You can't just walk around. Stop! Hear me! You co- So it's you! You should have thought twice about-
Thank mm-hmm. you.